Get this. Several pieces of breaking news out from uh, General Electric. And this, we heard some rumors about this, but now we can tell you that GE has struck a deal to combine its aircraft leasing unit with that of Ireland's AirCap Holdings. It had been reported earlier this week that the two sides were in talks. GE gets $24 billion in cash, a 46% ownership stake in the new company, and another billion dollars in either AirCap notes or cash when the deal closes. It's going to use the proceeds of the deal to reduce debt. Along with the announcement of the deal, uh, GE issued an updated outlook in the news that it's recommending that shareholders approve a one-for-eight reverse stock split. It's adjusted uh, earnings outlook for this year. It's 15 to 25 cents a share compared to a 26-cent consensus estimate. However, the newly announced uh, deal will result in a near-term non-cash charge, uh, which isn't built in uh, to forecast, uh, analyst forecasts. And it, it certainly does make it a much a smaller company in terms of what, what it can focus on, what Larry Culp can focus on in terms of the, the industrial business. Wow. Yeah, they, uh, they really, go out of their way to say that this is a much simpler, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be reporting industrial only financials and move from a three column to a simpler one column financial statement reporting because this is really power, renewable energy, aviation and healthcare. Um, all of this kind of coming together. And, Joe, you mentioned that they're going to be using the proceeds to pay down debt. Yeah. Um, at the close, they're going to reduce their debt by about $30 billion. And they point out that that is uh, to be the expected total reduction of more than $70 billion since the end of 2018. Um, they say they continue, expect to continue to execute significant additional debt reduction and increase earnings to reach their industrial level target of less than two and a half times net debt to EBITDA over the next few years. But this will be a big step towards that direction. Yeah, it's always a pretty good business. Is it, is it a, a business that during the pandemic has, has suffered a lot? Are they getting a good price for it? That's been the whole GE story, right? I mean, if I, I, you'd Selling have to imagine the if they could go back and look at that NBC deal right. in hindsight. I mean, it's just right there. Yeah. What, what, what did that slough off the, the market cap of GE to, to sell that for, for what was like a fire sale almost. Um, I don't know. Is this a good price? I don't know how you, you, you value well, market, it. The market likes it right now. GE is looking up 1.8%, but, um, but yeah, it's a good cent, question. 25, it's, 25 cents. Yeah, um, <laughs> um, it is, a, it is an industry that's been hit pretty hard. So the one for eight, is it one for eight based on where it is, or is there like a stub after they do this deal? I mean, how did, what, what would that... I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm wondering... And, you know, reverse stock splits, we know how regular stock splits work. Uh, in the old days, you'd see a reverse stock split, and the minute a 3 or $4, it's, it's a, not a 3 or $4 stock, but remember they used to do that with Wix, uh, the, the lumber company? The minute they get it back to where mm -hmm. it, it's, it's 30 bucks, next thing you know, it's 12 again uh, a lot of times. People are immediately able to go in, and so I, it, it all, sometimes reverse stock splits seem to have the opposite effect. Uh, of the of a regular what stock they say split. I'm just reading the language on this they say the reverse stock split would decrease the number of shares outstanding to a number more typical of companies with comparable market caps um, yeah they got a lot of shares whether and when yep. to affect it would be at the discretion of GE's board at any time prior to the one-year anniversary of its 2021 annual meeting which is coming up on May 4th so they're asking for shareholder permission to just allow them to do this when they think it's best. Well, you know, it's a lot of shenanigans year. with their outstanding shares. I hope Elizabeth Warren doesn't look at this and decide, uh, you know, you leave those shares out there. You know, you got, you're got still making widgets. Don't do This isn't changing anything. This is not the equivalent of a buyback, though. <laughs> I know, but it's changing the balance, changing the entire way composition of what a company decides is pertinent or what it should be doing at any given time. Got to be able to do that. Got to be able to either increase the float, decrease the float, buy back at certain times, sell stock when you need to. You don't think GameStop needs to sell some stock? Right here, let's go today. Oh, I mean, let's go they today. Should be, they should have been selling stock the whole time. Right, exactly. You know the point. You know what I'm saying. You can't just, yep. you know, the buybacks are bad because you're trying to juice the stock because the CEO has some stock. You can't, it's just to make that knee jerk assumption. It's scary that that's the thinking with some supposedly really smart right. people. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.